Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be talking about Linux compatibility with Alienware M15 R2. So let's get started. So I recently purchased this laptop from Shannon Morris and this is one of the big things that I actually purchased from her which I got for a really good deal. Now this is the Alienware M15 R2 which pretty good specs. Uh, Nvidia 2070 Max-Q with uh, i7 9th generation and 16 gigs of RAM and, and I just recently upgraded to one terabyte NVMe. What's also great about this is that I could actually have a second NVMe slot so I could slap in two uh, NVMe's and I raid them together but that's, a, that's another video for the future. Anyway, what we're here to talk about is actually Linux compatibility with the Alienware M15 R2. This probably applies to most Alienware computers because that's why I've been searching and discovering that most Alienware laptops and Linux compatibility is terrible. Uh, I would rate this a 3 out of 10. All right, while I could get everything working or most of everything working on this guy through Linux, it's actually not the best. So let me explain all that before you decide to jump in buying an Alienware and jumping into Linux like I did. Now, I actually got this for a really good deal, so I don't mind what I'm doing to this and I would love to do more laptop reviews with Linux compatibility because I see more and more laptops come and I really wish there was somebody that was doing Linux compatibility tests. As far as Alienware, it is a pretty popular laptop so I was actually able to see and find a lot of guides to get certain things working or not but ultimately I would love to do reviews like this in the future. So to begin, I've tried four different operating systems with this guy, uh, Pop OS, uh, Manjaro, Endeavor OS, which they're both Arch Linux, and right now Kubuntu or KDE. Out of all four, I found KDE to be a little bit more compatible than everything else because KDE actually has a pretty good scaling after 5.22, or 5.2 you could say. Uh, the scaling feature on this is actually pretty good and works for most applications, if not all. I even got Wine to scale pretty well. Compared to using GNOME or using Arch Linux like Manjaro, um, well, Manjaro is still known, but yeah, compared to using GNOME, I was actually able to get a little bit sca better scaling with this since this is a 4K screen. One of the most popular features on the Alienware is all the LEDs and the keyboards and the back LED and all that stuff. Now, you're actually not able to control any of that in Linux. I tried three different software for this particular model, which is the M15R2. I've seen success with uh, M15R4 and up, but anything before that, I wasn't, well, Definitely the R2, I wasn't able to get it to work and I've tried three different applications and I'll leave a link to all their GitHubs down below, but still I've tried it and wasn't able to get it to work. Uh, the only way you could either get the keyboard or Alien FX or Alien Control Center to work on this is either you dual boot into Windows or you actually spin up a um, VM and pass through the USB, the LED control USB to the VM just to control the lighting. Now, that's only one part of the whole Alienware thing. The other part is the fan controller. The fan controller is horrendous in this guy. It's terrible. I'm going to show you the fan curves right now after testing it. And you can see that it actually like goes up, then flattens out, then goes up. And it actually drops back down from 0 to 255 PWM. So what that means is in Linux, you are not able to get a gradual fan speed. You could either have some fan and then it's like... It pretty quiet at 3800 rpm or 3500 rpm and then it just shoots up there's no like medium in there so you're going to hear a ton of fan noises from this even if you got a pretty good fan curve now i've adjusted it down where it doesn't go max speed so i could tolerate the noise when i'm editing or whatever i'm doing with this guy but it doesn't keep the alienware cool enough i've actually hit 100 c with this even though keeping at 180 PWM, which is close to 5,000 RPM on the CPU side. So there's actually two fans, left and right. So uh, the right side would be the GPU, the left side would be the CPU. And if you keep it on low-ish, like 4,000, 5,000 RPM, it's not able to keep the CPU cool. So that's a problem on its own. And when you combine this, um, the fans together, this thing is just loud and obnoxious. So the fan controller is actually the um, pivoting point on this why I might want to switch back to Windows because it's either all fan or no fan. There's no happy medium on that. Another thing that I wasn't able to get working on this was the, um, I forgot what this is called. 
the tattoo or tutu i'll leave a link right over here or whatever i'm saying right over here but um this actually has the eye recognition where it actually tracks your eyes where you're looking even though they actually have a ubuntu installation for this it after you install it it actually does not detect the device so i wasn't able to get that working so that whole hardware piece for eye tracking is doesn't work at all in windows that works great i actually had this in windows for a little bit before i formatted to linux and i actually liked using that uh, reason being is when you walk away or when you look away it will automatically dim your screen and save battery since i don't have that feature on linux which i would love to have on linux um it doesn't work with this so that's another thing why i want to switch back to windows just because of the little bit of um, comfort on those being able to change the colors that i want fan curves which is a huge thing and also that little eye sensor thing other than those three things hybrid gpu is working i was able to get the intel and the dedicated 2070 working on this perfectly fine i was actually able to play actually triple a titles perfectly fine on this guy benchmark on this guy is actually not too bad so as far as productivity wise if you are not planning to play games and use this for productivity lower the fan curve yes you can actually do it but it's a gaming computer so you're gonna want to play games and then that's where it kind of like hinder with the fan speed and the loudness of everything and it just makes this not very linux friendly that's why i give this a three out of ten it does work everything in linux other than the keyboard with the leds but you're not going to get a very comfortable experience. So if you're planning to buy Alienware just for using Linux, like I was planning to, I don't recommend it. Anything under five, I would say I wouldn't recommend. So here are, those are the details on what I was testing with on this guy. So if you guys feel, still feel comfortable in installing Linux, even though you have those little issues, um, go right ahead. But I hate to say it, but I might go back to Windows on this. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys have any questions about this particular laptop, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.